cash budgets can estimate more precisely both the amount of financing needed by a firm and the timing of those financing needs. A cash budget is a projection of a company's cash receipts and disbursements over some future period of time. It is typically prepared on an annual basis and subdivided into months. It is useful in determining the amount of short-term funds the firm may need to borrow to cover any projected cash shortages. Steps of preparing cash budgets are Estimation of cash receipts resulting directly from sales forecast Scheduling of disbursements or payments the firm must make to others Determination of a desired cash balance at the beginning of each month This cash budget worksheet provides information with estimation of receipts from sales and scheduling of payments for purchase. The cash budget is prepared using the following steps. We start from the beginning period projected cash balance, add receipts, including cash sales and collection of accounts receivable. We can obtain this information from the cash budget worksheet shown in the earlier slide. Subtract disbursements, including payment of accounts payable. We can obtain this information from the cash budget worksheet shown in the earlier slide and other relevant expenses, yield, excess of available cash over disbursements, Comparing this number with the desired ending period cash balance, we can know the amount of cash loans if needed, or loan repayment if any. We end with the ending period projected cash balance. At the end of January, the available cash is $50,700 larger than the desired cash balance of $50,000, the company does not need cash loans. The projected cash balance at the end of January is $50,700, which become the projected cash balance at the beginning of February. Repeat the steps just described. At the end of February, the available cash is $18,200, less than the desired cash balance of $50,000. The company needs to borrow cash loans of $31,800 calculated by the difference between $50,000 and $18,200 to maintain the desired cash position of $50,000. The projected cash balance at the end of February is $50,000, which become the projected cash balance at the beginning of March. Repeat the steps just described. At the end of March, the available cash is $84,400, larger than the desired cash balance of $50,000. The company can pay off the cash loan of $31,800 borrowed in February. The projected cash balance at the end of March is $52,600. The end of chapter questions. Question number five is a problem related to the cash budget we just illustrated. Here is the cash budget worksheet. 
we can prepare the cash budget using the steps of preparing cash budgets described earlier. Now, at the end of January, there is cash shortage of $945,000. The desired cash balance is $750,000. To maintain the desired cash balance, the company needs cash loans of $1,695,000, which is calculated by the desired cash balance plus the amount of cash shortage. At the end of February, there is cash shortage of $685,000 to maintain the desired cash balance of $750,000. The company needs cash loans of $1,000,000 $435,000 calculated by the desired cash balance plus the amount of cash shortage. At the end of March, the available cash is $1,630,000 larger than the desired cash position of $750,000. The company can pay off cash loans of $880,000. The statement of cash flows can also be used to determine how much additional financing a company will need in some future period. Expected net change in cash is the sum of cash flows expected from operating activities, investing activities, and financing activities. This is from the end of chapter questions, question number nine. You are required to find out the external financing needed for the capital expansion project. Please make sure that you read through the problem so you will know how to extract the information needed. We first calculate the available funds before capital expansion. The available funds before capital expansion are obtained by the difference between projected sources of funds and projected uses of funds. Projected sources of funds are the sum of earnings after taxes, depreciation, and borrowings. The borrowings are calculated by the increase in current liabilities. Projected uses of funds are the sum of investment in assets, dividend payout, and the long-term debt retirement. The investment in assets is calculated by the increase in current assets. External financing needed is obtained by the capital expenditure less the available funds before capital expansion. Total financing needed is calculated by increase in assets, including cash, less increase in liabilities, increase in accounts receivable, inventory, and net fixed assets can be easily calculated because they are adjusted proportionately with sales growth increase in cash balance and increase in accounts payable are given in the problem. The increased retained earnings are obtained by the difference between earnings after taxes and dividends paid. External financing needed is calculated by the difference between total financing needed and the increased retained earnings. A type of forecasting that analysts and managers are interested in involves predicting a firm's financial events such as bankruptcy. Here we present a z-score model that is used to predict bankruptcy of firms. The model was developed by 
Edward Altman in 1968 by applying discriminant analysis. Altman identified five financial ratios that contributed significantly to the predictive accuracy of his model. The z-score is a linear combination of five financial ratios weighted by coefficients. A score above 2.99 means the company is not likely to go bankrupt, while a score below 1.81 means the company is probably headed for bankruptcy. The lower the score, the higher the likelihood of bankruptcy.